Firefighters at Station 9 start their shift answering the call for a house fire. Telling the guys to start drinking electrolytes and water first thing because we're, we're on for 24 hours and a day like today we're going to be up for most of them. The four men on Engine 9 spot the heavy smoke billowing into the sky as they head south on I-75. They're already sweltering even before they get to the flames. You feel it. You feel it. Like in this case, we uh, we had to make room for this aerial ladder truck. So we parked about a block down, and we, we walked already. You can already start feeling that you're sweating already, and you haven't really even done any work inside the fire building. It's a vacant house fire on the 1300 block of Utah. It spreads to two homes next door. All I hear was a boom, so I come out, and everybody's out here. I went in to go get my dog, and... That's, and all five of these houses have been abandoned for years. The fire chief suspects arson. I mean, this is personal. When, uh, when people are doing things like this, it puts our people in harm's way. It's especially dangerous in this oppressive heat. You feel weak when you come out. You're, you're all jacked up to go in. You go in. When you fight the fire, you come back out. And you might have to go into the next structure. It's, it's still rolling. And then when you come out of there, it's just like you're limp. So it's hot. Most people can't imagine, don't even want to imagine what it's like to wear almost 70 pounds of gear on a more than 100 degree day, but these guys are letting me find out. I've only been walking around in this gear for a few minutes and I am melting. I have no idea how they do it. They have the hottest, the toughest job in town. The busy day for Engine 9 is only just beginning. Firefighters next respond to a medical call to Taco Bell on Reynolds. They've done this business for a while, so they, they understand the long haul uh, part of this, but it, it certainly is challenging. Reporting from Toledo, Christine Long, 13ABC Action News.